Top of our news at six, a family and a community devastated tonight after the death of a little girl at a daycare near Coburg, east of Toronto. It was this time yesterday when she went missing. There was a frantic search. It ended the worst possible way. Global Sean O'Shea is live tonight in Baltimore, Ontario. Sean. Alan, this is a parent's absolute nightmare. You drop your child off at a daycare, the one behind me in the morning, and then when you go to pick up your little girl at the end of the day, she can't be found. There's a frantic search. All this unfolded just 24 hours ago. A tiny community mourning the tragic loss of a little girl. Life is painful, generally, and here's another grand example of that. Described as just two years old, the girl wasn't accounted for at this daycare around 5 o'clock Thursday afternoon. Police were called, and so were neighbours, who began a frantic search of the area beside the highway. I uh, went out over my balcony to have a look in the, uh, the ravine area to see if I could spot anything. Ed Horseman and his wife live across the road. They and others desperately tried to find her for more than an hour. There was people going up and down the road here looking for her and calling her name. And then... I heard this woman uh, uh, very distraught and later crying and so she went to console her. Uh, at that time we heard that they had found the child. Neighbors and witnesses say the girl was found beside what appeared to be a well on the daycare property. Watching the mother, <laughs> that's no small thing. The pain, yeah, it's, it's terrible. Just horrible, just horrible, horrible. The Watch Me Grow daycare has been in business for several years. Today it was closed and taped off for the police probe into what happened. Police have said very little, citing the ongoing investigation. Many here wonder how a small child could fall into harm's way in a place where children are expected to be safe. Who's responsible for this child being missing? It's going to break a bunch of people. It's just going to break them. And I know what it's like to have loss and... That pain is incredible. There's a look at the memorial of flowers and teddy bears that's been uh, building up here through the day. The Ontario Provincial Police Criminal Investigations Bureau is in charge of this investigation. Detectives were here on scene much of the day. They had a drone up in the air until just a few minutes ago. Uh, the police and the family have not officially released uh, the girl's name, and we're not doing that either, although friends have uh, started a GoFundMe page, and that GoFundMe uh, project has reached $26,000 and is climbing right now. A very sad day. In this part of rural Ontario. Alan back, to, Alan, back to you. Absolutely tragic, Sean. Thank you so much.